Welcome to our exploration of C programming. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from a newcomer to the language. Our viewer is curious about the behavior of float overflow in C. They've successfully navigated integer types, but are now puzzled by how floating point numbers work, especially when it comes to testing their minimum and maximum bounds. Let's dive into their code and see what's happening when they try to add and subtract from these float values. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the float data type in C. Floats are used to represent decimal numbers, but they have limitations due to how they are stored in memory. In your code, you initialize the float minimum and maximum values to negative and positive extremes. However, when you subtract or add one, you notice no change in the output. This behavior occurs because of the precision limits of the float type. The float type cannot accurately represent very large or very small numbers when you perform operations like adding or subtracting one. When you subtract one from the minimum float value or add one to the maximum float value, the change is too small compared to the magnitude of the float, resulting in no visible change. To see the effect of float overflow or underflow, you might want to try larger increments or use double precision floats, which have a greater range and precision. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In C, floating point limits are defined by macros like FLT max and FLT min, which represent the maximum and minimum values for the float type. You can find these in the float.h header. There are additional macros such as FLTMAXXP and FLTMAX10EXP, which define the maximum exponent in different bases. The smallest representable float is defined by FLTEpsilon. Floating point numbers consist of a significand and an exponent. In C, single precision gives you 24 bits for the significand and 8 bits for the exponent. This can lead to precision loss if the significand is too large. For example, a large number like 10000001 is represented as 1.000000000001 times 10 to the power of 15, which causes rounding and potential loss of precision when adding small values. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you were looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.